So yeah, this is not my goal length. This is not my goal length. My goal length is... Hey Royals, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Josette. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking all about my lock length goals as well as my healthy hair goals. So let's get into the video. Let's get into my lock length goals. I love looking at the lock length chart and just like imagining what my hair is going to look like at the different lengths. So for me, I'm not one of those people who whose goal is to have like just shoulder length hair or um, like a bob or shorter hair. I think that short hair looks great on me. I think that pretty much every length looks great on me, not to sound cocky, but that, that sounded like I was really full of myself. But um, I think that different lengths just bring a different vibe, you know what I mean? And as much as I love this length, this is not my goal length. Sorry, my toddler keeps talking. <laughs> So yeah, this is not my goal length. This is not my goal length. My goal length is, I'll put the chart up here so you can see. So it's either waist length or hip length. I love both of those lengths. And I think with my first lock set, I got to, I think I got to waist length. The thing is with my first lock set, I was not taking very good care of my hair. So I think I could have gotten my hair could have gotten much longer if I had taken care of it and I started with about six inches so but I did have to my hair was breaking off I was not taking very good care of it I'm aiming for that length I think that length is really really pretty really really flattering but I even want to go further and get to hip length I think hip length is just gorgeous like there's just so much hair and length and it's flowy so yeah, I feel like hip length is deep down my true goal. So I'm gonna say hip length is my lock length goal because I did get to waist length in my first lock set. So yeah, hip length is my lock length goal. So I would say about 28 to 30 inches is my ultimate goal. So I think, I think once I hit like 28 or 30 inches, that will bring me to to waist length for sure so yeah right now I have about three inches three and a half inches so yeah just 25 inches more to go <laughs> please 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 comment below down in the comments what is your lock length goal and also if you have any healthy hair goals what are those I would love to read those in terms of my healthy hair goals so healthy hair I am determined not to chemically dye, color, or lighten my hair at all. I know the effects that it has and it's a chemical and I just, I'm really going to be all natural with this lock journey and I'm not going to fry my hair. And I've learned also that even dyeing your hair darker does make your hair dry. Um, it may not be as extreme as bleaching, but it definitely does make your hair dry. I'm just not going to mess up this lock set. It's just not something that I, I want to do. I might eventually look into natural ways to color your hair. I've seen people use henna. I don't know if I'll even bother with henna just because it just looks so messy. But I have been kind of looking into naturally lightening your hair and um, there are ways to do that. There are really, really natural ways to do that. There's the sun, there is lemon juice, there is, I believe, apple cider vinegar as well. So there are definitely natural ways to do that. I wouldn't even be attempting to do that anytime soon. That'd be like later on if I want to go a bit lighter. I'm looking forward to seeing my hair grow and how much of an impact caring for my hair, treating my hair well, avoiding chemicals. I'm curious to see how much that is going to positively impact my hair growth. I've also been doing a lot of research about different oils. So I have bought a couple more essential oils. Uh, I've gotten peppermint and rosemary. I've made a blend of different oils for that. So I've also been taking vitamins. I take fish oil, I take vitamin D, 
and of course I take vitamin C because it's colder just to keep my immune system up. I also take vitamin E. So yeah, I'm curious to see how all of those things, just me taking better care of my body is of course drinking water. I'm looking forward to see how all of that is going to then impact my hair growth. Another thing that I've been really interested in when my hair gets much longer, like maybe like shoulder length or so, I want to try, or maybe even longer than that, maybe like, I don't know. But I've, I've been like interested in bangs on locks and it's so hard to find like an example of that. I've found like a couple but it's hard to find it on micro locks. So I'm definitely interested in bangs. I love the way hair looked in like the 70s. It was like the curtain bang look. So, ugh, there's hair in my tongue. The curtain bang look I think is really, really cute and retro and it adds a lot of volume to your hair. So it's definitely something that I am considering. I'll put a picture of what it looks like. This is obviously on straight hair because I couldn't find any examples of curtain bangs on locks, but I think it's really cute. I really want to channel more retro vibes. I love the 60s and 70s, how people dressed and how they were so elegant and put together. And also the 50s, they were just so feminine and, and so poised and so couth. So yeah, that is it for the video. Make sure to subscribe, comment below, and like this video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm proud of myself for being way more consistent on there. So thank you to all of you who have been following me on Instagram. That's been really cool to see so many people relating and following my lock journey. So make sure to follow me on there and I will definitely be seeing you in my next video. Bye.